volume to the camera. Test, test, one, two. Still about the same. Carrie, Jimmy just touched the sound. <laughs> Can you hear me, Carrie? Can you hear me, Jay? I can hear you. Just yes, I can hear you. I can hear Jay. Uh, somewhat. Yes, I can hear myself. Uh, this is so. This is so weird. What's weird? Sitting up high. What's our girls' record? 19 and 2. 18 and 2. 18 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Franklin High School for tonight's first matchup. Uh, we will be broadcasting the Brentwood Lady Bruins at the Franklin Lady Rebels. At this time for the starting lineups in the national anthem, we will turn it over to Franklin High School PA announcer Nate King.
Now your starting lineup first for the Lady Rose of Ringwood. Number 12, Emily Trucial. Number 14, Izzy Franco. Number 20, the Lady Trucial. Number 32, Amelia Osgood. And number 42, Sophie Roster. Ringwood is coached by Miles Thrash. And now for your Franklin Lady Rebels. A junior, number four, Trillian Key. A senior, number 12, Holly Harris. A senior, number 21, Abby Unger. A senior, number 23, Sarah Harden. And a junior, number 25, Darcy Doran. The Rebels coach by Jimmy Wilde. Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome to Franklin High School for District 11 AAA action. Two big games on the slate tonight. Franklin and Brentwood alongside Jimmy Weekly. I'm Jay Johnson. Jimmy, first time in a long time that the Franklin-Brentwood rivalry has meant this much during the regular season. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of what you want. Both teams are uh, long-time rivals. Whoever wins this game uh, will take over first place in the district. So... You couldn't ask for much more for, the, for tonight's first contest. Lady Rebels and Brentwood and Dixon County. The la Lady Cougars are uh, all battling it out for the top spot in 11 AAA. And we are underway. Brentwood will get it first. Almost traveled there on the, on the, on the tip. Here's a three-pointer on the way, in and out, no good. That's Franco. She's a key for Brentwood tonight. Yeah, she'll do a lot of that tonight. She's their catalyst. Uh, she's going to take uh, the most shots, the most attempts. She's going to be the leader for the Bruins. Backdoor cut. Holly Harris couldn't finish. Each team with a possession and unable to score. We're just underway at Franklin High School. And this is going to be a turnover and a backcourt violation. And the ball will go over to the Lady Rebels. Uh, Lady Rebels will absolutely take that, I'm sure. Coach Thrash not happy with the unforced error. Storm with it, looking for somewhere to go. Now she'll put it on the floor. Drives to the basket, up, not, not able to finish. King, three-pointer on the way, too strong. Another offensive rebound for the Lady Rebels. The Lady Rebels continuing the, the theme of last week, going after that offensive glass here early. Sarah Harden leads the Lady Rebels in offensive rebound, They're getting about five a game. Here's a near steal. Franklin will retain possession. Have it on the sideline with 6.38 to go first quarter. King goes inside and it will draw a foul. That's a good job by King. Most, uh, most defenders think she's going to spot it for that three. Used a little head fake, drove baseline, drew contact. You know, Austin picks up the foul, her first, team's first. You know, I think a big difference in this game, uh, I think uh, uh, in the first contest, Jillian King did not play. So that is correct. She was out with an injury. And first time they met, Brentwood shot lights out from behind the three-point arc. Let's see if that trend continues tonight. Here's Franco with a drive and couldn't finish. Unger grabs the rebound. She's had two good looks so far, unable to finish. We're nearly two minutes in, no score. Unger, nice drive to the basket, can't finish. There's Sarah Harden with an offensive rebound. Her shot was partially blocked and Franklin keeps possession underneath. Just getting bonus possessions every time you get that offensive rebound. It's just like a free possession. I've got Franklin with three already tonight. And we're barely two minutes in.
Harris, 15 footer on the way, got it. And the ice is broken by Holly Harris. She's their leader. Holly Harris opens the scoring at the 538 mark. Two to nothing, Lady Rebels lead. Little pressure from Franklin this possession. Franco's three is blocked by Sarah Harden. And then it'll be knocked out of bounds. Possession to the Lady Rebels. Yeah, good job by the Lady Rebels finding Franco there. Didn't give her much space. Good job securing the rebound, too. Franco averaging about 17 points a game for the Lady Bruins. Harris off the mark, got another offensive rebound. King, wide open three. Got it. Yeah, once again, offensive rebound. Sometimes that's your best offense. King got a great look at the basket. Great pass by Hunger to get that one extra pass in there to give her the wide open look. And here's a steal from Darcy Dorn. She'll be rewarded with a run out and can't get it to go, but Unger's got another offensive rebound. Harris three-pointer rattles in. Yes, uh, the iron was kind for Holly Harris. Had a big time three, eight nothing lead for the Lady Rebels. Once again, offensive rebound and Jay is leading to wide open jump shots for the Lady Rebels. And Coach Thrash is gonna use a 30 second timeout. Eight to nothing. Franklin's last two field goals have come off offensive rebounds. Second shots, second chances. Yeah, Franklin's doing a, a great job on the defensive end of getting in shooters' faces, uh, not allowing any chance to, to rebound for the Lady Bruins. So a lot of one and done for the Bruins, and Franklin's capitalized early. Now full court pressure. Here's a lob inbounds. They've got a chance to trap, but they'll get out of it. Keep the pressure on up the court. Now trapped just across midcourt. There's a long two-pointer on the way. It won't go. There's an offensive rebound for Brentwood. And Roston couldn't finish. Nice pass from Jillian King. Found Sarah Harden, but she had it blocked out of bounds. Yeah, got the look they wanted. Like you said, great pass by King on the back cut. It's a familiar set that Coach Wild runs. You'll see it several times tonight. His inbounds play. Jillian has her three blocked out of bounds. And the Lady Rebels have another chance from under their own, from their basket. Franco is going to be whistled for a foul. A lot of uh, a lot of pushing and grabbing going on the perimeter. Franco uh, not backing down from Holly Harris. That's going to be a matchup to watch. Two of the best players in the district going right at each other. Franco's first, team second. Three forty to go, first quarter. Hunger turns the corner. She's got a good look and got it to go. Yeah, it was a good job by Hunger. She she tried to hand it off. Nobody came. Defender left her. She went straight to the hoop. Nice finish. Franco's pass knocked away by Doran. And another turnover for Brentwood. Once again, hands everywhere for the Lady Rebels, doing a nice job, getting deflections, capitalizing. Dorn runs down the pass, finds Unger on the block, and she'll be whistled for travel. Swap pivot feed on the play. Yeah, you can't do that. You get, once you establish one, <laughs> you got to keep it. Three minutes to go, 10 to nothing. Lady Rebels on top early. You got to think Franklin's been looking forward to this game for quite a while. Yeah, especially not being 100% full strength last time they played. Now we got a whistle as Holly Harris is going to pick up her first foul. 
as she crashed into Delaney Trussell under the basket. Yeah, Brentwood got out in front of that full court press there. That'll bring in Kate Workman, number 10, will inbound it. If that name sounds familiar here at Franklin High School, it should. Kate, the daughter of former Franklin High School player Chan Workman. The post player on the 89 state championship as Harris drives and scores. Yeah, nice drive by Harris. Nobody stopped her. She'll take the easy bucket at the rim. She's got seven, leads all scores. Here's a baseline drive up and in, and finally Brentwood's on the board. Delaney Trushel picks up her first two and Brentwood's first two of the night. Yeah, I think Coach Wild wanted somebody to cut her off on the baseline. Nobody did. Easy bucket. Brentwood is on the board. Ten-point lead. 12 to 2. Hunger with it. Coach Wild barking out instructions from the sideline. Jillian might have gotten away with a double dribble there. Inside, Harris turned around, no good. Sarah Harden's there for an offensive rebound. She'll pick up a foul and go to the line. Yeah, she's, uh, that's a common theme for Sarah. She's always crashing the offensive glass. Looked like Holly may have been a little tired when she caught the ball on the post there. Didn't have much legs on that shot. Harden's first one is good, her first point of the night. I think Coach Wild saw that too. He's going to give Holly a blow here at the end of the first quarter. Second one also good from Sarah Hart. Grace Gardner has checked in along with the freshman, Kate O'Neill. So far, you couldn't ask for a much better start from the Lady Rebels. Here's another turnover. Jillian with a steal. She wants to run. Tried to get it to Darcy Dorn on this trailer, but it was flicked away. Now they'll slow it down. Nice cut by Dorn. Couldn't find her. Brentwood really pressuring up high, really trying to apply a lot of the pressure to the guards. Unger drives to the basket and will draw a foul. That's a good job by Abby being aggressive. Taking that dribble drive all the way to the rack. See if she can capitalize at the line. Jimmy, one thing I'm seeing early is it doesn't look like Brentwood is uh, able to stick with Franklin off the bounce on the perimeter. Well, they're coming out so high and pressuring. Uh, they're really in the faces of the Franklin guards, and the guards are just simply going around them. So when you play that kind of pressure defense, you've got to be able to retreat step and and, and, and make that counter move when the offensive player makes the move to the glass. So Unger gets illegal. one out of two. And looks like an illegal screen. Yep, got to stay still there. Can't be moving. There's Chloe Wampler picks up her first. It's already the fifth team foul on Brentwood. Only one against Franklin. I'm sure Brentwood's coach will point that out at some point in the first half. Miles Thrash in his first year for Brentwood, replacing longtime head coach Ron, Ronnie Sigenthaler. Gardner, three-pointer on the way, way too strong. And this will be Izzy Franco on the run. Cut off by Darcy Dorn. Here's a three on the way, got it. Big shot for Franco. Really didn't have much space there. Kind of stepped back, knocked down the long range jump, but Brentwood needed that. They need some kind of momentum at the end of this first quarter. Her first points as we're down to 10 seconds. Three seconds. Here's a long shot on the way. Jillian banks it, no good. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We played one quarter here at Franklin High School. At the end of one, it's the Brentwood Lady Bruins trailing Franklin 15 to five.
Back here at Franklin High School, ready to get underway with second quarter actions. 15 to five, Lady Rebels lead Brentwood after one quarter. Holly Harris leads Franklin with seven. Jillian King's got three. A couple of buckets from Sarah Harden and Abby Unger as well. Three on the way is off the mark. Battle for the rebound. It's going to go out of bounds to Franklin. Nobody gets credit for it, but that'll be another offensive rebound for the team. Harris. Gives it off. Jillian drives. Abby Unger, three-pointer on the way. It's short. And another offensive rebound for Franklin. Near steal. Now we have a whistle. And that's going to send Abby Younger to the foul line. First one's up and good. Abby now one for three at the foul line tonight. Makes it 16 to five. Second one on the way is good. Near turnover. Franco's going to go back out top. Osgood drives, cut off by Holly Harris. He's going to get a foul. And that's Holly's second. It's only the team's second foul. Far away from the bonus. However, that is Holly Harris' second foul. She'll come out of the game. Grace Gardner will check in for her. Three-pointer on the way by Workman's off the mark. Harden with the rebound. So now Jimmy's where that third score becomes important. Who's going to step up and be the other scorer with Holly out of the lineup? Yeah, this will be a key moment in the game. We'll check and see. They're up 12 with Holly going to the bench. Three off the mark there. If you're Brentwood now, you got to be in attack mode with Harris on the bench. Here's a baseline jumper up and good. Good action there, baseline. Kicked it on the baseline, wide open jumper. Trucial gets her first of the night. That's her first two points. And it's a 10-point lead again. You can kind of sense maybe that Brentwood's playing with a little bit more urgency now. Uh, Harris is on the bench, uh, Franklin's best player, so might smell a little blood in the water with one of their guards on the bench. We'll see how it pans out. King drives, kicks one out to Grace Gardner. Grace with a three off the mark, battle for the rebound. Sarah Harden's going to come in there, mix it up, and force a hell ball. All that was missing there is the arrow going our way and another offensive rebound. Right, and, and Brentwood sitting here down 10. They're still in this ball game as, as woeful as they played on offense. Nice job by Darcy Dorn to switch the cross screen. Nearly forced a turnover. Brentwood will keep it, trailing 17-7 with 5.36 to go. Here's a runner in the lane, off the mark, offensive rebound up and good. Sophie Roston gets her first two of the night. And for the first time in quite a while, the lead is single digits. Gardner's three is too strong. Follows a shot, but she's going to be a little too aggressive and probably get a foul there. You know, she's gotten 
three good looks since she's been in the ball game, unable to knock any of them down. And Coach Wild just looked at Holly Harris as uh, she checked by in and said, whatever you do, do not foul. So sensing his team's losing some momentum early, they're going to roll the dice and put her back in with two fouls. Five minutes to go. Second quarter, 17 to nine. Franklin leads Brentwood. Here's a three on the way. It's off the mark and didn't hit anything. And so far tonight, uh, Brentwood has not shot the ball well as they did last time. Come out in a little full court press here, change things up defensively. Nice execution, Unger finds Sarah Harden running to the basket to get the easy one and the lead back to 10. Yeah, when you practice uh, the, the press break, that's how you draw it up. Franco's three was off the mark, but an offensive rebound. Now she'll get another one away. Still no good. Here's another offensive rebound up and in. Brentwood taking a little page out of Franklin's book, crashing the glass. That's two looks, open looks they've gotten off offensive rebounds. Another two on one. Unger can't finish this time. And here comes Brentwood. Chance to cut it to six or five with a three. Here's a three on the way. In and out, no good. Harden had the rebound, had it knocked away. Loose ball, Unger gets it. And will draw a foul from Osgood. It's going to lead to shots, I believe. Is that the seventh team foul? It's going to be Osgood's second. It is a seventh team foul. And Abby Unger goes to the line for a one and one. First one rattles in. Second one up and good. And Abby is five of six at the foul. All right. Back to a 10 point lead, 21 to 11. And we have a whistle away from the ball. And Grace Gardner is going to get her second foul of the night. So fourth on Franklin, two on Holly Harris, two on Grace Gardner. Franco lost it, fell right in the hands of Sophie Roston, and she lays it in for two. Brent won a little fortunate there to come up with that loose ball. Nonetheless, it leads to a bucket. Back to an eight-point game, 21-13. Now we have a whistle, and they're going to call double dribble. Yeah, there were some hands in there. I'm not sure if, if a hand got tapped or if the, if the ball got tapped, so I'm not sure on that, but we're heading the other way. Lady Rebels go. Looks like a box and one this possession. Grace Gardner chasing Izzy Franco. They tried to force it inside. Sarah Harden knocked it away out of bounds. Yeah, it's no secret Brentwood wants to run their offense through Franco. Lady Rebels trying to make it hard for them to get her the ball. Great defense once again. Brentwood will keep it this time, though, at the inbound on the side. Roston trying to drive on Harden. Throws up a shot, no good. Holly Harris got the rebound. Yeah, Frank was just doing a great job on the defensive end, making everything tough for them to come by. Harris off the drive, up, no good. Sarah Harden, offensive rebound. Three on the way, too strong. Now here's a run out, and the layup's going to rattle home. Emily Trucial gets her sixth point. She leads Brentwood right now. 
And if you're Brentwood, you're feeling really good about yourself. Uh, haven't played particularly well. You're only down six. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Harris shot no good. Sarah Harden with an offensive rebound and a stick back. And she's got her sixth point of the night. Now we have a whistle. It's almost like a broken record with Sarah Harden. About every other possession, you can pencil her in for an offensive rebound. I'm showing 10 for the Lady Rebels in the first half. 10 offensive rebounds. If you get 10 offensive rebounds in one half, you're probably going to like that. Abby Younger got the foul on that last play. You could tell the crowd not happy about it. Eight-point lead, 1.33 to go. There's a runner up, no good. Darcy Dorn with a rebound. And she'll find Holly Harris. Lead sitting at eight. Franklin trying to extend this thing to double digits in the halftime. Brentwood trying to just chip away and stay in this thing. Brentwood in a 2-3 matchup zone. They find Grace Gardner in the high post. Good idea trying to hit Harden down on the baseline, but she couldn't handle it, went out of bounds. Yeah, I just think the pass was a little low, went through her legs. Unfortunate there because they got what they wanted. One minute to go, 23-15. Franklin leads Brentwood in this big District 11 AAA girls matchup. Shot off the mark and no good. Here comes Jillian King on the run. Unger, three-pointer on the way, short. Tell me if you've heard this before. A couple of offensive rebounds from Sarah Harden. Sarah Harden crashed the glass, and then somebody crashed her, sent her flying to the floor. The home crowd wanted the, wanted the push or something there. Franco steps through the defense and couldn't finish the layup. Smart play by Holly Harris to avoid any contact. That's a veteran move by her. She did not want to pick up that third foul heading into halftime. Here we go. Ten seconds to go. Harris takes a contested three too long. And it'll go out of bounds with a half a second left. Point five showing. Still enough time for a catch and a shoot. See what Coach Wild has in his playbook here. And that's going to do it for the first half. At the end of a half of play, Franklin with an eight-point lead, 12 offensive rebounds according to my stats, which are unofficial, but you got to think how many of those points are set, have come off second-chance buckets. Yeah, and, and I mean, neither team has shot the ball well. They, obviously, the difference is those 12 offensive rebounds. Um, but once again, if you're Brentwood, as poorly as you played on the offensive end, you didn't get any clean looks, really. You're only down eight. And Franklin probably feels like they should be ahead by more. So the first first couple minutes of this second half are going to play a big part in the finish of this ballgame. All right, again, at halftime, it's Franklin 23, Brentwood 15. We'll step aside and be back with second half action. In a moment.
Y'all win? Yes, sir. Who's y'all beat? Urban. Nice. Back here at Franklin High School, ready to start second half action. Lady Rebels lead Brentwood 23 to 15 in this big District 11 AAA matchup. Jimmy, what'd you see in the first half? Backdoor cut, Harris couldn't hit it. Might have gotten pushed, no call. And then Brentwood converts on the other end. And just like that, it's a six point game. Harris shot up a short. Nice save, gives Sarah Harden another offensive rebound. Darcy Dorn. Nice son. job there, crashing the offensive glass, getting an extra shot. Darcy Dorn got her first two there. And just like that, it's 25 17. This game's sitting right at eight points, right around where it's been the whole game. Brentwood just kind of hanging around. Going to whistle, and they're going to get Jillian King inside with a push. It's back to an eight-point lead with 6.35 to go third quarter. It's Workman on the drive. Has it knocked away by the hands of Darcy Dorn. Once again, Lady Rebels defense staying very active. Hands everywhere, getting lots of tips, lots of deflections. Franco drives, Workman's shot is up and short. But an offensive rebound for Brentwood this time. Here's a three on the way, in and out. No good from Trucial, Emily Trucial. One thing we've learned from the freshman Workman, she's not afraid to let it fly. King on the drive by Workman, can't get it to go, but will draw the foul. Good job using her body to draw that contact. Brentwood foul, Kate Workman, first shot. 
You know, Jay, not a lot happening uh, from the perimeter shooting-wise for both teams. It's been kind of a kind of an ugly game offensively, missing some gimmies, uh, balls going in and out, and we'll see if that changes here in the third quarter. But so far, none of the baskets are coming easy for either team. Jillian gets one of two for her fourth point of the game, makes it a nine-point lead, approaching the six-minute mark. Nice backdoor cut up and good. Chloe Wampler gets her first two of the night, and it's back to seven. Yeah, she set the screen, and the defender left her. She just rolled to the basket wide open. Harden going to be whistled for the travel. Yeah, caught a little in between there. It's like she was going to dribble baseline or pass it. Can't do both at the same time. Brentwood looking to cut into the lead. Lady Rebels picking up the pressure a little bit. Here's a shot up, it's short. Battle for the rebound. It's gonna go to Franklin. Again, a Franklin crowd. Franklin crowd wanting the foul. Brentwood crowd not liking the out-of-bounds call. Yeah, that looked to be someone jumping through somebody, so Brentwood's actually fortunate they didn't call a foul there. That might be the proverbial one where the official saved them a foul, just gave Franklin the ball. Unger drives to the basket, too strong. Sarah Harden with an offensive rebound. And she's going to draw a foul from Delaney Trucial. I mean, Sarah Harden, I know it kind of sounds like a broken record, but she's got a knack for finding that ball off the rim. You know, some people have that skill set, and she's got it. First free throws up and good. Sarah's now three for three at the foul line tonight. Got seven points. Yeah, and you talk about that third score. She's creeping up near double digits. She could be that third one tonight for the Rebels. Second one good, too. Unofficially, Franklin with 14 offensive rebounds. Here's a drive and a wild shot up, no good, but an offensive rebound and a foul. Harden's gonna pick up her first. It seems like every shot Brentwood takes in the paint, there's two or three sets of hands contesting it. Um, not a lot of finishing going on. The good job for the Lady Bruins to hit the glass there. Roston misses both. Statistically, Brentwood a very good free throw shooting team. They got four players shooting in the high 70s. Nine point lead for Franklin, 440 to go. Third quarter. Unger drives, cut off on the baseline. Tried to hit Doran, cut into the basket, but had it deflected away. She got caught inside with some taller players. Here's a whistle. And I believe Sarah Harden's going to pick up her second. It's two quick ones for Harden. Uh, Franco's done that a couple times. Uh, uses a pretty solid body lean to draw that contact on her shot and then tries to finger roll it. You can Franco tell, misses the first. You can tell Franco's got a lot of basketball savvy, which makes her one of the best players in the league. And she missed them both. She shoots 75% at the line and missed both. Now three on the way. Off again. Battle for the rebound. Scramble for it. It's loose. We're going to have a whistle. And the official lost sight of the puck, I think. Sorry, got my sports wrong there. <laughs> He must have because he wanted to call jump ball and realized nobody had control of it. So it's going to go to Brentwood on the whistle. I don't think. And there's a quick five-second call. And the ball will go over to Franklin. Brentwood going to pressure full court here. Harris goes right by Franco. Harden. Baseline jumper short, 
Darcy Dorn comes away with an offensive rebound. I mean, I, n I have no idea what a, what a record for the Lady Rebels offensive rebounds are, but <laughs> I don't think tonight they'd be pretty high up there. That's three in the second half. Total of 15 on the night. Man, essentially, essentially, that's 15 extra possessions you're getting, which, which usually has a good end result for you. Under. 15-footer, good. Good job by the Rebels being patient, finding under open for the jumper. Leads back to 11. Her first two of the second half, she's got nine on the night. She leads Franklin in scoring. Abby's been a tough matchup for the Brentwood defense tonight. Had a hard time guarding her on the perimeter. Crowd getting into it. Great crowd on hand tonight for the girls game. Here's a three on the way, it's blocked. Once again, nothing coming easy for Brentwood. Shot was contested, tip blocked. Brentwood keeps it. It's a baseline drive, cut off inside. Harden tried to draw the foul, goes to the ground. And Trucial missed an easy one. 11 point lead, 2.43 to go. Third quarter. Jillian, step back three, off the mark. Abby Unger with an offensive rebound. Jillian may have rushed that shot just a little bit. Rebels fortunate to get it back. Nice cut by Harris. Holly Harris on a curl cut, gets a foul. Trussell picks up her first. That's Emily Trussell. And Holly goes to the line for two. If you're going to put the ball in the basket tonight, you're going to earn it. Everything, both ends. Uh, it's been really tough on the perimeter. Everything's being contested. Second one on the way from Harris is good. Holly's got eight. Full court pressure. Franco beats it. Pull up jumper, too strong. Darcy Dorn grabs a rebound. She went coast to coast there, Franco did. Just couldn't finish. It's, it's been a tough night for her offensively. Kind of a big two minutes here for both teams. Just There's a whistle. And we're going to get a timeout. 30-second timeout called by Franklin. Jimmy, something we didn't talk about at halftime or uh, in the first half. You look at the Franklin, at the Lady Rebels defense the last three games. First half, they've given up seven to Ravenwood, 10 to Page, and 15 to Brentwood. So you're talking about less than 11 points a game in the first half against their last three opponents. Yeah, I mean, like you can see it tonight. Uh, you know, every pass is, is being contested. You know, you got a hand in the passing lane. Uh, they're communicating well on screens. Just being very active. And, you know, I guess you have to give uh, Coach Wild some credit there, uh, getting his team ready early and uh, holding the opponent to very few points, which, which leads to usually a comfortable halftime lead. Harris comes off a staggered double screen, too strong. But stop me again if you've heard this before. Offensive rebound to Sarah Harden. Just unbelievable what she's doing on the offensive glass tonight. Coach Wild says get it back out and start over. Harden goes baseline, got tripped up. And it's stolen away. Here comes Brentwood. Yeah, I think this is a big possession for the Bruins. There's a drive and it just won't fall. And we have a whistle on the rebound. 
Emily Trussell's going to pick up the foul. Yeah, and Emily's showing a little bit of frustration there. It just seems like uh, there's a there's a lid down here on this bucket. And a huge ovation from the crowd as Batman walks in, I think. Yes, Batman has entered the building. I, <laughs> I think I've ever seen that before, frankly. The student section will uh, get going after that. Oh, Harris drives. Didn't get a whistle. Here comes Brentwood on the run. 40 seconds to go. Drive in, shot up, and goes in. It's Emily Trucial with two. Now we have a whistle. We're going to get a foul on the sideline. Kate Workman gets her third. Officials let him play a little bit. Fifth team foul against Brentwood. As physical as this game has been, there's probably going to be a lot of free throws here in the fourth quarter as it approaches. With a three on the way. It's Abby Unger out of the corner. Yeah, good job by Abby Unger knocking that down. Takes that lead to 13 after it had been cut down a little bit. That's huge going into the end of the third quarter. Like to get a stop here. Workman. Ball tipped away. Loose. Out of bounds. Ball to Franklin. 2.8 seconds to go. A 13 point lead. 34 21. Brentwood in full court pressure. And to Unger. Gets it to Jillian. She'll throw one out from half court. No good. Wouldn't have counted anyway. And now we finish three quarters in this big District 11 AAA matchup at the end of the third. It's Franklin Lady Rebels 34, Brentwood 21. Here, Franklin High School, start of the fourth quarter. Franklin's got a 13-point lead over Brentwood, 34-21. Abby Unger leading the Lady Rebels, 12 points. Finish the half, or excuse me, finish the third quarter with a big three-pointer to extend the lead. Yeah, if you're Franklin, you're feeling really good right now. Holly Harris did not pick up her third foul in the third quarter. She hasn't scored that much either. You got a comfortable lead. Here's Harris with a three on the way off the mark. Another three, no good. And another offensive rebound. I've watched a lot of basketball in my lifetime, Jay. I don't think I've ever seen this many offensive rebounds. Great pass. Darcy Dorn open, no good. And Franco comes away with it and then stolen away by Sarah Harden. Coach Wild want to set it up, maybe eat a little bit more clock, get a good shot on this possession. Tell you what, Sarah Harden has been all over the place this evening for the Rebels. Nice pass by Jillian. Backdoor cut. Harris couldn't get it up on the glass high enough, and then we're going to get a whistle and a foul in backcourt. And Coach Wild cannot believe Harris missed that finish. Just unfortunate there. Great back cut. Great pass by Jillian. Holly gets her third foul on that play. Team's fourth this half. Unger's done a great job guarding Izzy Franco tonight. Abby's done a great job this year shutting down top players from most teams we've played. Kier Downey, 
uh, among others. Dorn, great post player. I'll tell you what, Dorn and Harden have been the difference for the Lady Rebels. Defensively, defensive glass, offensive glass. See if Holly can get going there. Nope. Off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound. Two offensive rebounds. And then a loose ball. It's pretty incredible what they're doing on the offensive glass. I know I've said it three times, but wow. When Brentwood watches this film, I'm sure Coach Thrash will emphasize the number of second chances Franklin got tonight. Yeah, they might be doing some uh, rebound drills here next couple practices. Ball tipped out of bounds by Workman. And a couple of substitutions for Brentwood. 5.46 to go in the fourth quarter. Still a 13-point lead, 34-21. Looks like Coach Wild wants Brentwood to come out and extend that defense. Maybe spread the floor out a little bit for the guards of the Lady Rebels. Ooh. Unger, nice left-hand move. Yes, and it counts. Yeah, and it just seems to be one of those nights for the Rebels where King and Harris have been quiet. You've got Abby Unger scoring, Sarah Harden on the offensive glass, Doran playing really good defense, hitting the defensive glass. Abby completes the three-point play to get her 15th point of the night. Shot up and no good. Tipped. Harden got a hand on that shot. Scramble for the loose ball. We're gonna have a hell ball to go to Brentwood this time. You know, I don't even think that ball was held up. I think that ball was still moving around when they called jump ball. Again, great crowd on hand tonight. Jim already filling up, three-pointer up and good. Emily Trushel gets her 11th of the night. Franklin can really afford to be patient here. They don't have to take any contested shots really from here on out. Just take care of the basketball. No unforced errors. Here's a three on the way from Holly Harris, and it's good. As soon as I say that, Holly Harris hits a contested three and takes the lead to 16. What do I know? And there's a whistle. You're going to get a foul on Osgood in backcourt. Go, Looks like Harris will go to the line. That's team foul number seven, I believe. Well, I'd probably say Coach Thrash, if you had told him, Holly would not hit double figures until about the 4.30 mark. Jillian would not be in double figures. He'd pre feel pretty good about his chances. Yeah, I mean, like when you draw it up, when you're looking, when you're scouting Franklin, you're going to try to limit Harris, you're going to try to limit King, and they've done that. I don't know that they expected to give up 18 to 20 offensive rebounds and Abby Younger to contribute with 15. Well, that's how it's gone so far. Sarah Harden with eight. She'll probably finish in double figures before the night's over. Second one up and good. Holly's up to 12. Correction, 13 for Holly now. And we have a foul in backcourt. Jillian King's going to pick up her second foul. Only the team's fifth, so no one and one yet. Long cross-court pass is going to end up with Coach Thrash. That was a good job by Coach Wild changing things up on defense, going full court, had Brentwood confused. Nice pass from Sarah Harden to Holly Harris. You know, Jay, we said Harris is having an off night offensively. You look up, but three minutes left, she's got 15. Just a minute ago, she had eight points. Now she has 15. 
literally less than a minute ago, she had eight points. She now has 15. <laughs> I just can't get over the game that uh, Sarah Harden's put in tonight, Jay. We have a whistle. Coach Wild will take a timeout. How about Frank? Full timeout. It'll be a full timeout. We'll step away. Franklin 44, Brentwood 24. Back underway, 3.50 to go, 20 point lead for Franklin. With 3.41 to go, clock running, fourth quarter action. Double team, Jillian has it flick, flicked away, she recovers. Scramble for it, loose ball, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Brentwood. I think it went off of Wampler out of bounds. Just. Harris will drive from on top. Lays it up and in. Now 22 point lead, 46 to 24. And Franklin will bring it back out, I believe, and run some clock. Go down in the corner, back out to Unger. Harris being hounded, gets it over to Jillian. Unger at the top of the key, looks things over, now dribble back out, 2.10 to go. Unger will go to the line at 2.07 to go. Abby's got 15. Make it 16. Second one on the way, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds. Franklin will keep it. That'll be another team rebound. What's that number up to tonight, Jay? I've got them unofficially now with 22 offensive rebounds. Wow. Cassie Hayes in the lineup, along with Grace Gardner. One fifty to go. You know with it. When you're down 23 this late, it's almost it's almost not even worth it to extend the game and foul. Yeah. 
He's been hounded there by Wampler. Now working on King. And we have a whistle and a timeout from Coach Wild. He's just going to sub. We'll keep it here. It's just a substitution because he wants to get some, get some new bodies in the game. They'll make it a 30-second timeout. Well, tomorrow night, the Lady Rebels will go on the road. They'll travel to Independence to take on the Lady Eagles of Independence High School. Uh, Jimmy, would you call that the proverbial trap game? Yeah, I would, because you're going to put a lot of emotion in it tonight. Um, you're trying to beat your crosstown, the oldest rival in the county. So, yeah, I mean, going on the road, no practice. Uh, probably be excited, especially as the Rebels pull this one out. So definitely going to be a trap game for the, for the Rebels, for both of them. Not to mention that game is sandwiched in between Friday night's game when Centennial will come to Franklin uh, Friday night for their second meeting of the year. And I believe they call that the Battle of Franklin, is that right? Battle of Franklin part two. King gets it over to Sarah Wright. First time to see her tonight. Sarah played well last week against Page. Hayes picks up her dribble. We're inside, we're down to 40 seconds to go. <laughs> Lady Rebels keeping the clock running, keeping the ball moving. I'd say this, you know, this second half, one of the best second halves they've played all year, but really this game, they set the tone defensively. Uh, Dorn and Harden really crashed the glass on both ends. And finally, a whistle with 14.5 seconds left. Foley Wampler's going to foul and send Cassie Hayes to the line. Free throw up and good from Cassie Hayes, her first point of the night. Cassie will be trading in the basketball for a softball glove and bat as soon as this basketball season ends. Second one up and good. Paulina Miller checks in, replacing Jillian King to finish up here with 14 seconds to go. Brentwood will walk it up. It'll be Workman. To drive to the basket up, no good. The offensive rebound by Workman's knocked away by Miller, and that'll do it. Final score tonight, Franklin Lady Rebels 49, Brentwood Lady Brewers 24. Franklin avenges the loss back in December to Brentwood. Now they'll stand, uh, they'll move up to the top of the standings. Uh, wait till that big, uh, well, a couple big district games coming up. We still got Centennial coming up, and then finally the senior night uh, meeting with Dixon County. Yeah, that, that'll put three teams with two losses in the district. Is that correct, Jay? It should, yes. Uh, not quite sure about Dixon County, uh, but that game will uh, be, that'll be a big one uh, coming up here on, Feb I believe, February 9th is the date on that one. Once again, Lady Rebels victorious in the first game tonight. We got the boys game coming up shortly. We'll take a short break. We'll be back. <laughs> 